Take three. This is about the inner and outer veil. The outer veil is your flesh against the world. The inner veil is your problems, the habits and desires of your flesh, and entering into, through the second veil, into the holiest of holies, the most inner man. We have this as a sure and steadfast anchor for our spirit soul or soul spirit, a hope that enters into the inner shrine behind the curtain, the first and the second veils, the curtain that represents the flesh, where Lord Jesus has gone as a forerunner showing us that you can overcome the desires of your flesh and live holy in peace. Forerunner, on our behalf, having become an high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. The, the word here is Melchizedek's order and the Lord's order is the same. What is that order? 7-1 of Hebrews, for this Melchizedek's order, king of Salem, priest of the Most High, met Abram returning from the slaughter. Spoils. This is not tithe. This is a battle where men were killed. The spoils were the four kings that were defeated. And one of those kings was the king of Sodom. I read on. Abram returned from the slaughter with the spoils of the kings, kings plural, that lost and blessed him. Melchizedek blessed Abraham. The lesser is blessed by the greater. And to him Abram apportioned a tenth part. This is not tithe. This is the tenth of King Sodom's spoils that were taken in a slaughter or a war. A uh, tenth part of everything, the spoils, the slaughter, is first. Uh, I got a word that I can't read there because I wrote over the top of it. By translation of his name, or authority. King of righteousness, we're talking about the order of Melchizedek, king of righteousness. And then he is the king of Salem, which could have been Jerusalem. Salem, Zion, Zion, Salem. That is king of peace, speaking of Melchizedek. He is without father or mother or genealogy and has neither beginning of days or end of life. Talking of Melchizedek. But uh, a similarity or a semblance resembles the Son of God. He contains a priest. He continues a priest forever. And the Lord Jesus Christ has become the great high priest forever out of the tribe of Judah. And when there's a change in the priesthood from the one great high priest from the tribe of Judah, there is a change or a necessity of change in the law of Moses. Moses appointed the Levitical priesthood, and the Levitical priesthood took tithe, which is a tenth, of crops grown in peacetime for bread, lambs for meat, fruit, grapes, figs, olives, food on God's table to feed the priesthood. Outer veil, flesh against the world that is outer. Inner veil, flesh having problems with the desires of the flesh. And then forerunner to the inner holiest of holies, 
where your heart, mind, and your spirit soul is guided by the spiritual principles of love and peace from God. This was a heavy teaching for teachers only. Love you. Bye.